G'day crypto goers, I'm Adam Stokes. Welcome back to the channel where we're going to look at why the Bitcoin price and all cryptocurrencies around it have crashed hard. This in from the daily hodl, possibly a reason for the crash, the massive Bitcoin and crypto sell-off blamed on whale manipulation and sudden sale of nearly 400 BTC. The article reads, a flurry of Bitcoin whale traders on the crypto exchange Bitstamp is being blamed for BTC's recent breakdown from $8,056 to $7,475. These are US dollars. Nearly 400 BTC were traded within four minutes of Bitcoin's 7% plunge on Wednesday, reports Trust Nodes. The selling may have triggered a domino effect that pushed the price of BTC lower across all crypto exchanges. 124 BTC were sold at 12.41 London time, bringing the price down from 7,900 to 7,700. A small attempt at bouncing back was met with the sell-off of 115 Bitcoins at 12.42, bringing the price down to $7,600. Two more sell-offs, around 75 BTC each, followed at 12.43 and 12.44, so bringing to an end what looks like a very precise operation bringing the price down by $100 at each minute. The derivatives exchange BitMEX bases its index price for BTC on data from Bitstamp and Coinbase. That gives whales a potential incentive to sell large quantities of Bitcoin on Bitstamp while placing bets that the price will fall on BitMEX. Now, if you've been listening to my channel for a while, I say this often with a bit of tongue in cheek, but it keeps coming back to haunt us. If it's not Bitcoin and it's got the word bit in it, it's bad news. And we keep seeing this pattern over and over and over again. If it involves bit, BitConnect, Bitfinex, Bitstamp, BitMEX, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Diamond, dare I say Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV, there is often controversy around it. If it starts with bit and it's not Bitcoin, it kind of looks dodgy. Again, a little bit of tongue in cheek. However, history keeps repeating itself. Back in May, Bitstamp disclosed that it was investigating a huge Bitcoin sell order that likely triggered a similar widespread crypto crash. Trustnode speculates that big players on Wall Street could be incentivized to trigger a crypto flash crash. This is nothing new for other commodities markets where courts have found banks guilty of rigging the price of gold, silver and even fiat money itself. There, however, the rigging is against old stuffy men holding on to old-fashioned gold or silver, while here it is against coders and a new young generation. Now that's a really important point. I've often spoken about all markets being manipulated and all markets are malleable one way or another. However, when you have a very small market cap, such as Bitcoin, and there is a lot of new money in here and an incredible technology where we can move very quickly on global markets, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The strength becomes its weakness. That is a strength of being able to trade 24 seven, allows for global markets to be working at different times. As we see here in London around midnight, these big buys and sells are happening when some people are asleep and some people are awake, but the markets never sleep. So these trades and crashes have always the opportunity to occur because unlike traditional markets such as the New York Stock Exchange, there isn't a set trading time where all eyes are on deck and there is a bigger market cap. So this is again another reminder to us all that crypto markets are very volatile and Whilst the opportunity for whales to do this remains present, it may not necessarily mean that Bitcoin itself has seen the end of its journey. In fact, let's face it, we've seen this before in the crypto space. We've seen Bitcoin go up, down, sideways. We've seen markets being manipulated, not just in crypto. We've seen the effect of whales. But my greater concern in the big picture is Tether. But reading on in the article... Analysts have also pointed to Mark Zuckerberg's testimony before US lawmakers as another possible factor in Bitcoin's dip below $8,000. And if you're not aware of what's happening in the States at the moment, Zuckerberg's on trial again. He's not really on trial. He's just giving evidence or answering questions to Congress people. AOC was giving him a really hard time. And if you want to watch the video on AOC questioning Zuckerberg, what was really interesting about that when I watched it was that, in fact, AOC was so 
harsh and borderline unreasonable. It sort of pushed me to back up Zuckerberg, dare I say, even support what he's doing. I know that's a pretty big call, but the reality is when she was being so unreasonable and almost bullying him, she was, in my opinion, she was being a bully to this businessman who was presenting in front of the American people essentially in front of the Congress people, to answer the questions that were put forward to him. The questions were not respectful. The questions were, as I mentioned, I feel, in a bullying manner. And he was not always given the opportunity to speak. And it's so ironic that we're always told that men are cutting off women. If you want to see women cutting off men in the name of equality or hypocrisy, whatever you want to call it, watch AOC smash Zuckerberg, even when he's trying to give very reasonable and succinct answers. But as a result of that hearing, it may have pushed down the price as people who are on the outskirt of crypto and just coming in to dip their toes in the crypto lakes of wealth, should we say, that may have scared them and they may have pulled their money out of the markets, creating this sudden drop. At the time of publishing, BTC is down 6.58% at $7,477, according to CoinMarketCap. But before I close off this video, let's see in real time what's happening. This being the 24th of October, 2019, at 22.30 hours Eastern Standard Time, Australia. Over at Coin360, we can see it's looking pretty good with a bit of support from Ethereum, LTC, Tron, Atom, Neo, BSV, XLM, and a few other ones there. Actually, all the alts look like they're recovering quite quickly with a bit of support after a very tough day in crypto land. Remember, if you have been dollar cost averaging and you are only investing what you can afford to lose and you are in this for the long game, as I would think or hope you are, if you're here to dollar cost average today and buy your Lambo in a few years, this is the journey in crypto. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And even if I were, I wouldn't be giving you financial advice over a YouTube channel because I've never met you. Nonetheless, all investments come with risk. All markets are vulnerable to manipulation. The smaller the market cap, the bigger the swings. And as we see these markets grow, we see the possibility of manipulation or at least the effects of manipulation not hit so hard. In any case, crypto is continuing on its journey. The technology continues to evolve and more people are buying into these markets as they try and break away from the fiat system grasp the technology that is the blockchain and arguably internet 2.0 and ultimately take control of their own financial security and freedom. Let me know your thoughts below. What caused this crash? Was it a coordinated sell-off or a coincidence or bully AOC attacking Zuck or something else? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear. Thanks for listening. Happy investing. Go dollar cost averaging and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you